I find it difficult to be happy. If I am on my own, I find it difficult not to sink. Being around other people tends to lift my spirits, but then I suspect they might be simply because I'm too insecure to let them see the real me. The gloomy, miserable, despairing me. I feel confused a lot of the time as to what my goal is in life. I can work 16 hours per day, but then simple tasks, simple obstacles, like having to speak to a phone company or going around roadworks or tube delays or even struggling to open a bag of nuts and driving to the verge of tears. I wait for the weekend to have a life and then I can't get it together to get out of bed. Every Every so often, on a regular basis, I need to remind myself about the good things in life. Health, income, a loving partner, a comfortable home, living the most exciting city in the world. You tire of London, you tire of life. Isn't that how the saying goes? Well, of course I'm not tired. I'm 35, how can I be tired? So I remind myself how all of this could be gone in a second. I could be diagnosed with some terrible illness tomorrow, which I'm sure I will be. And that makes it even harder. That makes me feel like I really, really should grab this time by the horns. And I feel like Sleeping. Sometimes, sometimes I'm happy in my dreams. I remember there was this one dream. I was in a cottage, somewhere that resembled Switzerland. Never ending greens and deep, clear water. It was the most beautiful. <laughs> I can explain, I can't explain to you how beautiful it was. <laughs> Maybe that's how beauty feels when you're happy. There was a woman. It was a woman I didn't know, and yet she felt so familiar. She came up to the porch. She was carrying a bunch of bright, white flower and she gave them to me and she said I love you <laughs> I don't think I ever felt that intensely happy in my whole life as in that dream and in those few seconds when I woke up before it dissolved am I not the most pathetic 